Broadcasting live from the Jersey Shore, it's Coach Kev on the Damage 365 Radio Network. And welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Indie Super Show here on the Damage 365 Radio Network. We have a great show in store for you today, along, of course, with our birthday shout-outs. A little later on, about 6.30, we'll be talking to former WWE superstar known as Damian Sandow, the intellectual savior of the masses, graces us, and... um as he claims he will save our show. So, um, Coach Kev here, joined by JT, back in the house. Welcome back, Jay. How you doing? Oh, boy. There's uh, a question. How you doing? Yeah. You get to listen to that all day in the dugout of softball. A bunch of dummies all of a sudden are wrestling fans. Well, at least I'm not considered a dummy because, you know, I was always a wrestling fan. Yeah. Growing up, watching Hogan. Yeah. Luga slamming Yokozuna. That would be Lu- yeah, Luga slamming yeah. Yokozuna. The um, half, half slam on the ship. The hip, to- hip toss on the Intrepid on the ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was I was there. I was there for that. Yeah, there for that. And then uh, of course, not the, like these little tykes nowadays. <laughs> well, one they, worship scenish. Nah, wristbands. Nah, scene is alright. Nah. Like, look, you don't you don't have to. Um, love Cena's work set as far as like the amount of moves he only possesses. No, I like what he does outside the ring. But and he puts on a good show. But he, he he never takes a day off. The guy gives you 100% in the ring. He always puts on a quality match. Um, he does amazing things away from the ring and he, he's just he, he's an A-OK guy in my in my book. He's an A-OK guy. So Yeah, me too. But his character is horrible. Well, turn heel and I'll cheer for you. Uh, eh. I guess the rest of the world will too. Yeah, remains that remains to be seen if that'll ever happen. But like I said a long time ago, if you want that to happen, you got to find somebody that's going to take over the being the baby face of the company, who's going to be that that um, make a wish person, that one that's going to be you know the new the new poster child of of the WWE. The face that runs the place. Until that happens, it's he, he, Cena's never, he's never gonna, he's never gonna turn bad. See, Hogan had that advantage when he went to WCW. That Sting was there still, so Sting was still the face of WCW. So it was a perfect opportunity for Hogan, who was starting to get really dry, and, and the fans were starting to get bored by him, for him to uh, pull a. You know, a, a heel turn and... Um, shocked the world. Yeah, definitely man, definitely shocked the world. Definitely shocked the Macho Man Randy Savage, that's for sure. So, yeah, that was a that was a terrible day in wrestling. If you were a Randy Savage fan, terrible day. <laughs> terrible day for most. Yeah. It was, a great, it was a great day, though, if you were a, a fan of hating Hogan. Because most people who hated Hogan loved Hogan after that. Yeah. Me, me included. So, <laughs> I hated him. I loved him, and then I hated him. See, I, I hated when him. He did, when he did that. Uh, I just thought it was, he was boring. He was getting just, it was just nonsense. It was the same old, same old shit. And then when he turned heel, and he was like, what? What? What did I just see? And then he's a bad guy, and then he's coming down with the black and white. And I was like, nice. No, I can get behind this guy now. I like this guy now. Yeah, I wasn't about that. I was only like 11 or 12 years old when that happened. You were a little tight. 
<laughs> don't hate. <laughs> don't hate. Uh, Still fresh in my mind. All right. Let's get some birthday shout-outs here. We'll be back in a couple of seconds. Anybody in the audience who's got a birthday today, happy birthday to you. And if you're not down with that, we've got two words for you. some birthdays ladies and gentlemen out there I'd like to uh, acknowledge happy birthday to Damage alum Hall of Famer number 26 Helene Turk happy birthday happy birthday goes out to one of Damage originals number 23 Ronnie Scoo Bertinelli happy birthday Scoo and happy birthday goes out there to number 55 former outfielder the Liza Hansiak happy birthday Liza and happy birthday goes out to the former guests on the show the, the former man that ran Valkyrie Professional Women's Wrestling, Chris Leven. Happy birthday, Chris. And happy birthday to all of you celebrating your birthday this week with all these fine people here at the Diamond Street 65 Radio Network. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Hello. I'm the Big Balboski here, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. <laughs> Wrestling Superstore, selling wrestling memorabilia from all around the world, including WWE, TNA, Japan, Mexico, and the very best of the independents. They've got action figures, DVDs, autographed memorabilia, t-shirts, and more. Plus, stop in and get tickets for great promotions like UWA Elite, CZW and many others located indoors at the world famous English Town Flea Market Green Building Booth number 35 on 90 Wilson Avenue Manalapan Township New Jersey open every Saturday and Sunday 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. log on to facebook.com slash Funkenstein Inc. for more information This is the War Machine Rhino, the last ever ECW World Heavyweight Champion, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. Keep listening, or you'll get gored in half. WarriorsOfWrestling.com. See roster profiles of past and present Warriors of Wrestling stars. Over 50 highlight videos of Warriors of Wrestling events, full-length matches, order tickets to future Warriors of Wrestling events, and an extensive DVD collection featuring past events, compilations, documentaries, and much, much more only at WarriorsOfWrestling.com. This is Lanny Poffo, formerly the genius full of glory and renown. You are listening to Damage 365 Radio. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. This is Eddie Edwards, one half of the Wolves, and you are listening to Damage 365 Radio, where the hunt is on. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Again, thanks to our sponsors, the Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore over there in the English Town Flea Market Blue Building. Booths 46 and 47 every weekend from 8 to 3. Go check them out. Tell them we sent you. Of course, Esposito's Pizza and Pasta of Matasquan and Matawan, New Jersey. SesameSeedPizza.com for more information. Definitely go there. Tell them we sent you. Um, definitely just go there and check it out. I mean, you will not be disappointed if you're a fan of pizza. 
uh, try any of the sesame seed crust pies. I don't even care if you get a bacon pie with sesame seed crust. They're just sesame seed crust. Just it's a whole new experience on pizza. It's just. It is unbelievable. And coming from somebody who doesn't even like sesame seeds, oh, I, so I tried good. it and I, I just love I was, the looks on the faces of every when we go to the conventions and we bring them there after the convention. You should have seen the look on my face when uh, I ate a slice. I, I mean, was blown yeah, away. We said this before. Me and Nick ordered a pie to split, and I think me and Nick had a slice each. Yeah. <laughs> And split it with everybody. Yeah, the entire table was not only splitting the slice; they were literally splitting the slice in half, and they were passing them because they, you know, because they didn't want to eat too much carbs. You know, we, all we the rest bread. of us. Yeah, we break bread. We definitely break bread in, in the form of pizza. Bread. So, uh, got the Esposito's Pizza. Awesome. Glad that they're uh, signing on again this year. Another uh, another year of sponsorship with us. So, if you'd like to be a sponsor. Of the Damage 365 Radio Network, which means the commercials you just heard, you would be included in those commercials, which on this show we play uh, two to three uh, commercial banks a show. Other shows on this network, depending on how long their uh, their episode is that week, play at least once. It'll be played on every show, every week, for the entire year. Uh, if you want to learn how you can do that, hit us up. Damage 365 radio at gmail.com. Attention in the subject line, attention sponsorship. And uh, we'll send you that information and let you know how you can join on. Get your name out there here on the radio network. Have uh, us maybe visit your businesses and uh, maybe bring some talent to your businesses. Maybe we can set up an autograph session with these wrestlers at your business and. Uh, you know, help you bring in business by using... Bringing business to the business. Bringing superstars over there to do some meet and greets. So it gets done all the time in pizzerias and bowling alleys and uh, malls and stores in the malls. So you let us know. And I noticed some neighboring Mika, uh, Miko in uh, Keyport. I know he's a fan of the show. And, you know, if you're interested, let me know. I think I'm going to do some uh, some sponsorship shopping this week when I'm around in town. Dropping off a whole bunch of uh, little packets here and there. It's a good idea. Yeah. Let us bring business to your business because yeah. we mean business. Yeah, I like to know that. You know, and usually when I drop off of my uh, my packet, you get a nice little uh, nice little folder that you can reuse for anything you want. You get a lanyard with our business card, uh, along usually with a, a pen because I ordered a couple of pens. Everybody needs a pen. And um, yeah, and some and probably a sticker because. Uh, I ordered some stickers. I also ordered car decals for uh, for the for the Jeep. So are they scented stickers? No, they're not scented. They're not scratch and oh. sniff. No, they, they can't. They can't. I asked. They can't bottle the scent of awesome. Come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> they tried. They said they they give. They said, uh, uh, Mister Coach, um, sorry, we declined that uh, your. Your scent of awesome, we can just not bottle it. So well, we totally break of awesome. So, so I was like, all right, sorry, I'll just keep continuing to spray my stickers with my cologne, <laughs> which is awesome. Which is awesome. I whole, tell you every time. Oh, fifty of them. <laughs> this one in particular. There's a couple of them. A couple would be commented about. The new newest one though was good. It's a CK One Summer. That one's really good. Calvin Klein. I like that. I like that. It smells good. Uh, yeah, you know what we need to talk about? What? We need to talk about tonight's pay-per-view. Oh, yeah? Um, I don't know why, but I mean... The one that I'm not looking forward to? Uh, yeah, what is it? WWE what? Uh, backlash? Shit show? Yeah. Shit show. Is it Backlash? I don't even know. No, it's uh, Battleground. Battle we know what it would be. I was like, uh, I don't even think they have Backlash anymore, do they? No, nah, if they did, it would be in April. Ugh, it's terrible. Uh, but um, now they did the the separation of the the rosters, so this will be the last card that will feature, you know, these particular matches because unless they're on the same show, there this is pretty much it. So this pretty much can end a lot of the storylines and uh, a lot of the. Uh, Some of them need to be ended. Yeah, like. Like uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Not Ugh. enough of that. Uh, okay, so 